Hey guys, it's Mr. Feely here. So, today I'm going to be walking you through a little project we're going to make together in Scratch. So, first thing is first, go to the Scratch website. So, it's as easy as, you know, typing in Scratch dot mit dot edu and you should all have your login information um, your teacher should have given it to you so you just go in and you type in the username that you're given I'm Mr. Feely and then my password alright so now that we're in we're gonna immediately go to the create option up here and we're going to start creating. Just give it a moment to load. It can take a while. Oh, that was fast. Okay, cool. So now that we're in here, we have our little sprite, who uh, by default is a cat. Um, but what I want to make today is, well, what we're going to make is kind of a very, very simple video game, a little 2D video game, uh, which is just collecting, collecting items, and, and having a little score that keeps track of uh, how many you have collected. So what I want to do is I want to do mine um, as a game that has the player collect stars, and uh, you get to see how fast you can collect the stars. So I don't want this sprite here. This is what they're called sprites, so I'm going to go ahead and delete them by pressing right down here is a little trash can. And there should be a, yep, a little add sprite right here, the little cat symbol. We'll tap on that. And I want to find a star, because that is going to be the item of collection. There we go. Now we have a little star here. But I also want to set it in space, because stars usually are in space. So I'm going to go up here and search for a space background. What do you know? There we go. We'll choose that one. And uh, just to let you guys know, again, that's where the sprite, you can add a new sprite there. You can add a new background right here, the little mountain picture. All right, so now that we have our star here, let's start making it do stuff. So when I hit the star, I want to have a sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Events, and I'm going to pull this one out when this sprite is clicked. So that pretty much just means when the star is clicked. So what do we want to happen when we click the star? I want a sound, so I'm going to the sound options here, the purple circle, and it'll bring up all the sound blocks. So I can combine these blocks with this event block, that's what these yellow ones are called, event blocks, to create a behavior. So when I click this sprite, I want this sound right here, the collect sound. So start sound, collect. And of course, you can actually record your own sounds too. You can go right here, and it will bring up the little microphone on your device, and you can just record your own sound. But I think right now we're good with this sound. So now when I click it right here, it has like a little bell. So it's just something to add to the, the video game that we're making. All right, so what I also want to do is every time I click it, I want it to kind of hop to a new random position, kind of like a, a whack-a-mole type thing. So I am going to go to motion, which is the little blue dot right here. And there should be a block. Yep, go to random position. So I am going to connect that to these blocks. So pretty much what this means is when this sprite is clicked, it's going to make the collect sound and the sprite is going to hop to a random position. So let's test it out. Perfect. So it is working awesome. So what I want now is I want something that's going to keep track how many times I've collected a star. So where I'll go to do that is I'll go down to variables. And let me move my face out of the way. There we go. Variables right here. So when you go to variables, I want you to make a new variable. So you press right here make a new variable and we'll do stars collected. We'll call it stars collected. So now you'll notice we have a little tracker up here. So it says stars collected zero. So when I click on it, 
notice nothing's happening here. I want to change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out this. Change. Change variable by 1. But we don't want it to be my variable, which is this. We have the stars collected variable selected. So I want to change that to stars collected. So now every time I click on the star, it adds an additional one to the score. All right, so what if we want to reset it? Well, we can reset it by going to our events again and pulling out the flag. So we pull out the flag block right here. And we'll go back down to variables. So, so the little orange circle here. And we'll do set my variable to zero. And we gotta make sure to change this to stars collected. So what that means is every time I hit this green flag, so when green flag is clicked, set the stars collected count to zero. So now it's at three, but if I hit this, we'll bring it down to zero. All right, so this is like a very simple game. And you can, you know, you can time yourself, see how fast it will take you to get to maybe 100 stars, or maybe you can see how, uh, you know, how many stars can you collect in 60 seconds. Or you can compete against a friend, see who can uh, reach 50 stars first. Um, and one more thing, which is kind of cool, is if you want to add more stars, just go down here and you right click. So either tap with two fingers, or you hold down Command and you click it, and you can duplicate these stars. And each star will have the same exact coding set. So they'll behave the same exact way as our first star. So now, look at that. Now we have multiple stars to play this game with. And you can go ahead and reset it and start again. All right, guys, so that is a very simple game you can make in Scratch. Um, you can do a lot of things in Scratch just by combining these blocks and uh, hopefully in the future I can show you some more complex activities and we can make even cooler video games down the road. Alright, see you later everyone.